Hey guys, it's Bethany Schneider here, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Shall We Date Ninja Assassin Plus. Okay, I needed to get you know, bring myself back together because I almost forgot the name of the game. So last time where we left off, we were going to the festival. We were making preparations until, as we were like going out the day before the festival started, we encountered William, the guy that we were like... We were, like, going on our other undercover mission for, and then he showed up. So, uh, don't know if he's gonna, if William's gonna, like, bring in reinforcements at the festival or danger's gonna be occurring, but I'm nervous. But no reason to be, because it's our day off and it's the festival. And, um, uh, I'm just checking all the stats I have here. So... Lotus is getting, like, loads of compliments, and she can't even at the moment. She's just flustered. Anyways, let's continue with this episode. You're not used to it? I'd be happy to give you a few more. Oh my gosh, she gave more comments? Oh god. She on? You look gorgeous and very adorable. <laughs> Guys, he caressed my cheek with his hand. Okay, um, please stop. Let her go. <laughs> Shion. Soji grabbed Shion by the collar and dragged him away from me. Not in front of Kiyokaidi. What's wrong with that? This is the red light district. Who's going to notice? It's wrong because I said so. Now leave her alone. What's with you lately? If I w wanted to tell someone they look gorgeous or adorable, what's wrong with that? Uh, he's got you on there, she on. He got you on there, Shoji. Ichika looks like he's getting upset, so I'll leave it at that. She on threw a glance towards Ichika, who looked like he was ready to take a bite out of him. Jeez, Mister Isaiah, surely not you too. Hmm. Oh, you mean Lotus? Of course, I like her. What? Oh no! Oh no! You? Are you serious? I uh, what's going on here? When I heard that, my mind went blank, and I began to feel dizzy. It doesn't make any sense to hide how how I feel. If I like someone, I'm going to come right out and tell them. What do I have to lose? She spoke um, spoke point blank without any hesitation. On that note. He stepped next to me and took a hold of my hand. Uh, wait! Sha let's go, shall we? With my hand in his, in, 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 in his, Shoji, Shion started walking and I hurried to keep up. Wait! You can't do that! What do you think you're doing? What the heck is going on? Please, oh, he, he's not gonna sneak me off and just, if he is, oh no. Oh lord, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh no, what's happening? If you guys are hungry, just tell me. I got almost three, real in my park, and three real in my pocket, so it's my treat. You too, Lotus, anything you want. But, but go ahead, Shion. Go ahead, Shion likes giving gifts and treating people. Yeah, Sordro, Sordro and, I, and I have been treating the treated countless times. That's right. You too, Ichiga. Don't be shy. Thank you. By the way, Soji said threateningly as he grabbed the hold of Shion's shoulder. How long do you plan to hold Lotus' hand? Hmm? But it's so small and soft. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh lord, this is the tension is in the air, uh, all right? The tension is certainly in the air right now. Let go of her right now. Aw, but there's going to be a lot of people, and we wouldn't want to get separated. Right, Lotus? Nobody wants to get lost, do they? What? Oh, uh, of course not. With Shion's hand tightly wrapped around mine and no sign of him letting go, I just nodded. Can't you see you're bothering her? Says who? Lotus, am I bothering you? Shion peered at me. You're making me uncomfortable, that's for sure. Just holding my hand... Holding my hand make you uncomfortable? N no, it's not that. That doesn't mean anything. It's not like she's going to admit it. 
Ichigo decided to jump in too. Oh my gosh, two of them are jumping in to save me. But she said it was she was and she and she it was okay. <laughs> He's laughing. For what? Watching us, I always suddenly burst into laughter almost to the point of tears. <laughs> oh my, isn't isn't it easy being so it isn't easy being so popular, is it, Lotus? I don't say that! Soji, why don't you just take her other hand? What? Just, yeah, take my hand. It's not gonna kill you. <laughs> hey! I was so distraught, I was on the verge of tears and looked away. What are you saying? Ha, uh, okay, you can... Okay, you and Soji can take turns. Bwahaha, <laughs> this is splendid. That's easy for him to say. Wow, that got that that just got too much, really. Wow. That was I have no idea. Wow, Ailey, really, just really. You made you made Lotus cry, and I didn't pay attention. Oh my god. How about you, Ailey? Aren't you feeling a little left out? Hey, don't ask. Well, are you? I'm fine with it. Hmm. And you complain others aren't honest about their feelings. Shion, oh look, we're here. I we was pointing at the lanes of a long row of food stalls, stalls just ahead of us. Ugh, this is not a fun time. I want to go back to back to the vigilante house. I want to go back. This sucks. Oh well, anyways, moving on. Wow, look at all of them. The crowded festival grounds were filled with the most wonderful smells. Looks like everyone's having a lot of fun. The Southward's masquerade has has pulled it off again. Lord Tomia, uh, Tom, Tomia enjoys a, a lot of excitement. It's a wonderful atmosphere. Make sure you don't go, uh, don't let go of my hand, Lotus. Uh, okay. Hey, Sordro, don't you think you better hold her hand too? I told you already. No. Everyone was wa talking louder now, trying to be heard above the din of the crowd. There's too much. I don't know where to begin. Why don't we start at one end and work our way to the other? I'm hungry. And can we find something to eat? Great idea. I see gr fish grilled with salt over there. That sounds good. Shall we do that? We all walked over to the stall. Five orders of fish, please. Sure thing. Everyone dug into the grilled fish. That's delicious. Lotus... You got salt all over you. Ichigo reach, reaches out and wipes the edge of my lips with his thumb. Oh my god, fan service is here. Oh lord. Who ordered the fan service with the side of a milk, the delicious vanilla milkshake? Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh god. Soji, you better jump in and do something. Seriously, stop wussing out. Stop chickening out. Please, hurry. This is not working out for Lotus right now. Nicely done. I'm not giving up yet. Oh my gosh, they're fighting over me. They're trying to win my heart. This is making me uncomfortable. Ah! Oh, blowguns. Perhaps I'll win a prize for Lotus. How about that hand mirror? Ah, oh, sure. I'll get it for you. Maybe I'll give it a try too. I'll win it. Really? You never play any of these festival games. Shion looked at Soji and smiled sarcastically. Shut up. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy. This is getting serious with these festival games. Oh no. Everyone lined up and- t Everyone is lined up and took their blowgun in hand. Good luck! The result? Here's your hand mirror, Lois. Aww. Shion didn't- Oh, man. Soji did not win at all. Thank you. Shion had crushed the ch the competition. Ex as expected. Sheesh. Damn him. Oh, Soji. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, look. They're still selling hairpins. I'll find you a nice one, Lotus. Really? This time, everybody lined up in front of the stand selling hair ornaments. Wow, look at all of them. They're beautiful. Here, I think this, this one will look good on you. I we held a particularly colorful one uh, one next to my hair. No way, it's too gaudy. How about this? 
My mother would wear that. I think something like this would look cute on Lotus. I think she would look good in any of them. You too? Thanks, Sochi. Leave it to Soji for uh, for uh, for being the most sweetest person on earth. I I want to hug him. Okay, next. <laughs> well said, Soji. I'll buy one of everything. What? Shion! Hey, calm down, Shion. Mr. Aiza, please stop. Here we go again. Continue to occasionally squirrel. We enjoyed the festival. <laughs> well, at least we had fun. <laughs> As the sun began to set, the festival became even more lively. Wow, that's awesome. It's really getting crowded, isn't it? I asked, but no one replied. I said, huh? When I turned around, no one was there. What the hell? Did it, did everybody went to the restroom or something? No way, where did they go? I grew up in, up in the north, and I don't know any my way around here yet. I stood in the root. I stood rooted to the spot, uncertain of what to do. Ichika, I always see Shion Soji. I yelled as loud as I could. No one, could, but no one could answer. The crowds around me kept growing thicker as I stood there. What should I do? Perhaps if I returned to the last place we were together, I started to turn when suddenly bumped into my shoulder and I lost my balance. Eek! Oh shit! What's happening? I was expecting to hit the ground when I felt someone's arms firmly catch me. Thank you. I quickly offer I'm glad to be safe from the fall. I turn around to see who it was. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, it's Soji. Thank goodness. You dummy. What are you doing? Soji? I was so overcome with relief in my eyes, I began to tear up. After all those warnings not to get separated. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to get separated from you. I should have been holding your hand after all. What? Ah, uh, nothing. I'm glad I found you. You don't know your way around here yet, do you? He's flushing all me. Oh my gosh. No, I don't know my way here. Can you please help me? Intimacy went up a little. Aw, oh, son of a... Dang it. Okay. Where's everyone else? Hmm. Oh. Soji looked away, scratching his head uncomfortably. I, uh, was searching so intently I lost track of them. You did? Mm hmm. Uh, over here. Shion's big. Uh, Shion's big. He stands out. I'm sure I always trying to keep Ichiga from doing anything reckless after you disappeared. He may, may have a sharp tongue, but he's remarkably good at looking after people. <laughs> That's true. Let's go someplace where we can get out of these crowds. Okay. Aw, looking a bit uneasy, Soji glanced around at all the people. He then abruptly held out his hand towards me. Huh? Ah, oh, the photo again! That's so cute! Oh, he's like right in the face! It doesn't matter, we still got it. So cute. I surpri surprised I looked up to him. Your hand. Give me your hand. Oh, duh. Oh, but... I just want to make sure we don't get separated again. Aw, oh, uh, of course. I timidly held out my hand and Soji tightly grabs hold of grabs a hold of it. My hair feels like it, it feels like it could burst. Holy smokes! My chest felt tight and my head was spinning. I couldn't think straight. It was like the, it wasn't like this when Xian was holding my hand. Ah! Oh! Watch out! He pulled on my hand, drawing me closer to him. He seemed to be walking slower than usual, trying to match my pace. The warmth of his hand was reassuring. I could never grow tired of this of this feeling. What is it about being with Soji that makes me feel this way? Is everything okay? Yes. Soji, am I? To be continued! Da da da! I knew it, Star Cross Lovers! I knew it! Oh, this is so cute! Oh my gosh, we have one more power story and we can view the photo later after we're done with this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! What? Walking along with, so with the flow of the crowds, we eventually made our way up to a small hill. There was no one around on top and, the silence we could hear and in the silence we could hear crickets chirping. 
Ah, nice. Peace and quiet. We're pretty far away. Indeed. Do you think they will be able to find us up here? Good question. It might be best if we return. Shoji gave me a brief glance. You look tired. His remarks startled me. I reached up to check my hair and all the common and bumping into people had quite and had become quite deceiving and eviling. My yuka has also become also come loose and a little bit too much chest jo was showing. Ugh. Oh! I quickly put my hand over my chest and began to strain up the collar. I'm sorry. That was quite a care quite careless of me. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything. Don't worry. Soji said quickly, averting his gaze. I suddenly felt awkward. Wow, dang, that's totally got... Okay. <laughs> silence and silence. <laughs> silence stretched on, filled by only by the rustle of the wind blowing through the trees. All that noise at the festival is so far away now. It's so quiet. I can't believe we're, we're the only... We're, we were there only a few minutes ago. Hey. Yes? Soji broke the silence and he drew his handkerchief out of his pocket. He then unfolded and spread it across the grass. Sid, let's take a break. Thank you. Of course, it's a nice yuka, yuka time. I'm sure you don't want it to get it dirty. Soji looked away unexpectedly. <laughs> oh my gosh! I know I say that a lot, but it's just, it's just like cute and oh my gosh, it's odd, ah, kawaii. Bathed in the light of the moon, everything around us glowed and glowed in pale blue. The pale light, the light on Soji's face, made it hard to tell it, but, but tell. But his cheeks seemed to be tinged with red. He's trying to hide it, but it's still endearing. A sense of happiness spread through me, and I smiled to myself. <laughs> All right, we'll see how how this will go next in the next episode. But before we go, let us take a look at the album and see that wonderful photo we picked up at chapter five. So cute. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos like this in the future and such. And I'll see you in the next one.